Hi, this is David from your PSD Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to make a login form. So we're going to take our blank project. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this to be about the size you'd expect from a login form. And go ahead and put a text box, um, a button, two text blocks. Let me move one out of there. And a password box. Let me move that out of there. All right, so we'll go ahead and place our button down there. Place our text block there and there. That seems a good distance. And put our password box right there. All right. So we'll go ahead and rename this to username. Stretch the size out a bit. Do the same here. Change that to password. And go ahead and clear the default text out the text box. Change the button to submit. And then we will have username text box is username and password as password. And change that actually. my naming all types of messed up okay so now we have our username and our password all right sorry about all the confusion okay so what we will do next once we have this set up as you can see we'll run it real quick and show you we are getting nothing that's not showing properly And see if it's showing properly now. There we go, a little off. We'll have to survive. Okay, so we're going to go over to our events. We're going to go ahead and create a new click event for the button. And with that, we will be doing an if name.text equals not equals blank and or in in password not equal blank all right so with that we are checking to make sure that the user actually did put something inside the password and username fields so just to make sure we have our prompts right So now if we run it, you can see it says we did not put in username and password. If you try to put in only one, it will not go. If you put in both, it will try. Now what we are going to do is let's say we have a password. Let's say string username and we'll say admin. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Username in. That should work. And we'll go ahead and wrap that. Oops, something's off with me today. Okay, and then do string password in equals password. 
So what we will do now is if username dot text equals username in and password dot password equals password in. And we'll do another message box. All right, so let's give it a run real quick. So we have, I'm going to just try something random real quick. We get nothing. Without that, we get our prompt and let's go admin. Password. Login success. So you can use this with a database and actually compare it against it by just querying the database, making sure none of the users or that the user matches the username and credentials. And then you can throw your code on what you wanted to do in here. Now, let's say it does not match those things. We can throw another message box and say, let me go back. Invalid credentials. Login error. All right. Let's try that one more time. So if we click it with nothing, we get that. If we click it and we have the wrong thing or just one it's going to do that if we have the wrong information entirely we will get our invalid credentials error and if we type in the correct credentials we get that all right it's quick enough hope that helps you on your coding journey if you like the video like subscribe check back later for more awesome content have a good one.